Next up for my new 2025 PC build is uh, a power supply. And this is the Corsair RMX series, RM850X. And this is a, a newer version. And there is another other RMXs out there. And I think it's a 2024. And this is the ATX 3.1. And it's also PCIe 5.1. Okay, and it's also and uh, it's got the 12 volts 2x6 connector for your graphics card. Now, the reason I got this one over the other power supplies is this has been rated an A. Plus. Try and get this open, and it's been tested to destruction, if you like, and uh, safety and uh, the performance etc and I wanted the uh, best power supply Ooh, it's moving around best power supply is actually quite heavy that I could get it doesn't mean that the other ones uh, you know you shouldn't get them but yeah you know, the better all rounder you can get the better Ooh. And my graphics card, which is the A. Not got any more connectors. Oh, I can actually top. I can lift that up. Oh, let's forget. Okay, That's a little less shiny with the packaging on. I'm just going to open it up. Okay. So you get a box here. I think that's the cables. Let's go and take the power supply out first. Okay. Let's move this out the way. Here's, here's what I did earlier. If things are out. Yep, so there's a lot of cables. And there's actually one less than I'd actually like. And I'll talk about it in a bit. I think. A safety and compliance. A bit of looking gel. That's for power supply. So let's go and have a look. So let's go and let's just quickly look at the cables while we're hit while it's going out. So the safety and compliance. And I think those are screws in this one. I'm going to need to get those out of here, all those screws. Um, this one here is cable ties. And let's just go through the parts. So you actually get a mains cable. And uh, what we got here. Let's just go through these separately. So this plugs into your power supply, and these are SATA connectors. Let's go see what they. I mean, these actually feel really nice. And on one of the reviews, I think I saw that these are actually quite flexible. The cables. Yep, quite nice. Got a nice shine, nice feel to them. And uh, obviously I don't think many people connect a lot of SATA connectors. I will be connecting some. Um, obviously for the backup drives and maybe cache drives and things like that. So I will be using that. And one of those. What we got here. Okay, Tonic 4. Oh, PCIe. And I think that usually and those connect. Stop sliding from each other, Doctor. A lot of these are all clipped together. It's PCIe and uh, Type 4. Have to look at those. All oh, right, okay. Just two of these. And it's for graphics cards, I think so. I think I've got one, two, should be three of those, and that's right, yeah. So I guess one goes into your. That's type 4 again, I think you see it on PCIe. What do you say there? There we are. Let's see if obviously it doesn't show you anything in there. I think that shows you on the back. Oh, these are nice. Oh, this is the uh, cable PCIe. This is the uh, 12 pin. Oh, this is really nice. This is like uh, rubber. And these are more like plastic. That's a very nice cable. I actually did want to use this uh, for my 
uh, graphics card I was going to get, but I couldn't get it, and I decided to buy a different one. So I won't be using that, but it's, it's going to be used in the future, so that's quite nice. So it's another SATA cable. Uh, these are like connectors from the old days where you used to use a um, like CD drives and old harder drives, which you wouldn't be using those obviously because you wouldn't have to connect to for them, but that's what that's for. And uh, what we got here, so this is I think your main motherboard power supply. Again, quite nice cables. They're quite I was a lot, they're a lot thinner than I thought they would be, which just means they're a little bit easier. I'm not saying they're not low quality, they're not, I'm not hacking anything to connect to it, just saying. So that's what I was expecting, more of these. So that's CPU, Type 4. So what that's saying is you put that in the CPU in and this, where it says Type 4, that's where it goes in the power supply, CPU Type 4. So let's just uh, get the power supply so we can see what, how they actually connect. It's a quite a hefty, uh, weighty power supply, which is quite good. So it's going to—you can feel the quality of the money where you spent it. Just so tear. Let's just cut that in. Nice and easy. That's it. Um, there isn't a um, a filter. Um, some power supplies have a filter on them and then you can, you know, some have removable ones. That's kind of one of the things I was going to get, but I, I wanted the rating more. And this is uh, quite a good quality, so there's um, more information. There we go, so as it say? I just like how it says Type 4 on the cables. We didn't say plug your Type 4 in here. <laughs> Not that you would really uh, have trouble working out where those Type 4 would go. So there we go, SATA. So there you go, so that's it, six pins. So there we go in there quite easy. Okay, I thought they looked like those, but obviously they don't. Uh, they wouldn't go in there. Just go and check it. Obviously, this is obviously the um, new 12 volt cable, and that will go in there. And I think those are actually standard cables, so in the future, if you ever need to replace them, you can buy any manufacturers, I'm not sure, but anything else, you really have to buy the cables from the uh, manufacturer and actually for that model. I'm not, I think possibly the Corsair have a standard of their own that um, you know, their cables can go in between, but no, you really got to uh, make sure you... Uh, it says, oh yeah, okay, I've got that now. So what they're saying, um, designed for use with genuine Corsair Type 4 cable sets only. So that's what they're saying, Type 4, because obviously they must have had a Type 3 standard. That you can only, so if you had a Type 3, Corsair Type 3 that is, not another manufacturer's Type 3, that's what they call it, you couldn't plug that in here. But if you bought a, a set of Type 4 cables from Corsair on their website, you would be able to use it with this power supply. I think that's what they're saying, you just obviously double check it. And this Obviously, being a uh, eight pin, that would go in here, and I click in. I'm not well. I sort of could get that. But it's tight. I expect it to be tight. And that would go in there, would it? Lift the latch up. Cool, bloody hell. They are tight, aren't they? Remember that, uh, nowhere else it can go. Just there. I just want to use that at it, there we go, I have a safe person, I don't like forcing things, that's just a quite tight fit. Uh, they're quite hard to get out as well, good, that's a nice, nice quality, really good quality, you can feel it. And this will then be, go into your graphics cards, anything with PCIe, I think that go, uh, I thought that clasp, interesting. I find that when I actually start to plug those in. Um, the interesting uh, thing about this is probably different from other um, fan man power supply manufacturers is they've got this dial here. And uh, I think it tells you a little bit on there. What's it say? Silent operation at low to moderate labels. In this mode, the fan will not spin. Okay, uh, they've got a click. Let's see that click. And what that is, is uh, off means automatic mode in the fan we power supply using. 
and then if you turn it on you can actually choose the speed you want to do set it out from very high to medium stuff okay i think that's the power supply sorted thank you for watching